Hello Primary 4, so I'm going to do a bit of revision about the parameter of a rectangle. In Primary 3, we learned how to find the parameter of a rectangle, but in Primary 4 now, it's not going to be so straightforward, right? We're not just going to be given the length and the breadth and told to, be, told to find the parameter. In this case, we are given the parameter, the length, and we need to find the breadth. So I'm going to draw a model for this, and it's going to look something like that. So this whole bar is going to represent the parameter. And to find the parameter, we actually add up the length, the breadth, the length, and the breadth again. So this is what I'm going to do. It's going to be the length, the breadth, the length, and the breadth. Yes, and this whole thing, I'm going to be labeling it as the parameter. which is equals to 38 centimeters. Now, given this information, I now know that the length is 12. So this is going to be 12. And this is also going to be 12. So I'm going to be using the parameter, this whole bar, and I'm going to be taking away this length and this length. And as you can see, what's left it will be two breaths. So I'm going to write it down. Two breaths will be equals to 38 minus 12 minus 12 which will give me 14 centimeters so if you don't understand this I have 38 the whole bar and I'm going to take away this 12 and I'm going to take away this 12 and it's going to be left with two breaths two breaths therefore equals 14 now we know because the breaths are the same length we can find out what one of it is by dividing it into two so seven centimeters. Now after you get your answer, it's very important for you to check. So I'm going to put it back inside now. Seven plus 12 is 19. 19 plus seven is 26. 26 plus 12 is 38. And therefore it is equals to 38. And so I know this is correct. Now this is the first method to do it. And I'm going to call it method one. Now, I'm going on to the second method. There's another way to do this, and some people might find this easier. Honestly, I do find method one easier, but yep, some might of you might prefer to use method two. So in method two, yes, I'm look at this bar, and I'm going to split this bar into half. If I split this bar into half, as you can see, it's going to be somewhere there. Yep, and it, how do I know it's half? Because there's a length and a breadth here, and a length and a breadth here. So it's going to be equal when I divide into two. So if I divide it into two, the amount is going to be one length and one breadth. So I'm going to write down here, a length and a breadth is going to be equals to 38 divided by two, which is going to be 19. Yes, 19 centimeters. Now, if we have 19 on this side, and we know that the length is 12. I can just take 19, take away 12, I get breath. So breath equals to 19 minus 12 equals to seven. And that is exactly the same answer we got in method one. So it's really up to you which you find easier, but if you draw a model, everything would be clear. And I really strongly encourage you to be able to understand how this model works.